Miss Olm, she taught AP US history for us in 10th grade. And uh, that same classroom is where I stood outside the door. Taylor was a little gum wrapper with a little note written on it asking us, is it, is it, like, is it, is it good to ask a girl to a Christmas ball by leaving a note on her desk? I don't, I don't really know, is that? <laughs> well, he did, and, and we watched a young Kiara Johnson walk in and I'm sitting there like, oh, let's go, let's go, here she comes. <laughs> and he was, he was like, shut up. And she gets down, grabs the note, looks up, gives him a little nod and apparently it worked for him because we're sitting here married now. <laughs> Today is a day of love, because today is a day of commitment. And this commitment is good because it makes us free. And I have so much hope in both of you, in the success of your marriage, that it is going to be a holy and fruitful marriage. Why? Because I know that both of you are not only committing to each other, but you're committing to our Lord Jesus today. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Thus, love necessitates obedience, a commitment to obedience. You're committing to marriage the way God made it to be. Yet as you commit to mutual obedience, you are in for a joyful life. This first day of great joy is only one of many. And we pray that the graces of this day perpetuate for the rest of your marriage. Here I receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Taylor, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> This is my baby sister, and I'm kind of freaking out. Um, not that we didn't all see this coming for almost a decade. Um, <laughs> apparently, she came up to me when they first started dating and was like, I have a date to Christmas ball. And I said, oh, okay, that's cool. In my head, I was like, what? You like boys even? <laughs> However, it's been such a joy for me to watch this become more and more real as they finally finished school and they finally got the jobs in Brainerd that they've been dreaming of. I mean, this is my best friend. You guys have had the gift of knowing her and if you haven't, gosh, I hope you get to. She is one of the most self-sacrificial and listening and caring and quietly, absurdly enthusiastic people. <laughs> like, no one else gets my stupid inside jokes. And I have to say, all of a sudden, during Mass, when they looked at each other and giggled about something, I was like, oh, that's her inside joke person now. And I'm so grateful it's you, Taylor. This man has been an absolute joy to get to know, but he's been the best one, and this beautiful, steadfast support from my favorite person. And I'm so excited to get to see you carry on your lives now in this new stage, not dating forever, <laughs> married, living together, being the cute little practically suburban soccer family you already are. <laughs> like, it's good and it's beautiful and we all get to celebrate with them today. To Kira and Taylor. And it is my great honor to present to you for the first time sacramentally, Wed Taylor and Kiera Schlamer.